Hi, my name is Gina. I hope everyone is doing fine today. Today I'm gonna share about my journey. But before that, there are three things that I would like to put forward in my from my story. One is someone believing in us. Two, someone willing to take the chance on us by forgoing things that may be difficult, giving up something. And three, he given the chance to take on something. So I'll start my journey with the time when I first finished school and I was going around looking for a job. Back then, as a young graduate, I always thought that, well, I have my people, it will not be that difficult. But I was far from that. You see, out there, people will still ask for your experience, for your number of years. So, a few times, I got the door slammed on my face because I don't have the experience needed. So one day, I decided to risk it all and say something. Should anyone say to me that I don't have the experience needed, so one afternoon I went for a job interview again and the same thing happened they said oh we'd like to hire you but you don't have the experience needed so I turned around and said if no one give me the opportunity how on earth would I gain the experience needed and everyone was quiet I thought okay that's the end of it I blew it all and the it ended so I went home telling myself that I will not get a job. But a few days later they called me and said uh, we offer you the job please report for duty on such and such a day. So I did because to me that's an achievement someone actually opened the door for me giving me a chance and taking the risk to take a young graduate who has no work experience and who could potentially ruin everything so they take that chance on me so knowing that i'm given a chance i worked hard i learned as much as i could from the seniors and everyone to be better than expected and indeed I was and I was without applying offered jobs elsewhere and I took it after a few years. Fast forward in 2014 again someone that I know approached me and said uh, there is a vacancy for a high position in the uh, agency in of a government ministry back in KL so why don't you put in your application for consideration so I did even though in the back of my head it tells me it's not going to be easy so I did everything to make my CV good enough for them to consider and I went through the process again of interviewing and whatsoever Thankfully, I got a job and knowing that I'm in an environment where I'm alien to them because I'm different in the of race, religion and where I'm from. So I work hard and smart. I learn as much as I could of the new things that I need to know. And I personally, personally uh, do something to get more knowledge. And we did a lot for the country, for the industries, especially in the area of talent development. So we engage a lot with the industries, with employers, on what they need to upskill their workforce, and also uh, presented proposals to the government on what to do and what are the areas to focus on. They were good times actually, and I enjoyed my work. Because there is a sense of purpose in it and that purpose is to make a difference in the life of 
employees in the country, in the lives of employers who are industry players, because with our work, their workers and they themselves can improve in their productivity and the whole value chain of the business. And for the country, I was proud of my achievement, the sense of purpose in what we do in making a difference. And I was happy that someone gave me the opportunity to do this by believing in me that I can. Fast forward again in 2018 with the change of leadership, our work also was affected with the changes where slowly I saw that our sense of direction is no longer there. We lose of sight of what we are formed for as an organization in talent development. We ignore the voices and the needs of industries and focus on what we want to uh, push to the market. So I feel, number one, we've lost our direction. I feel that the sense of purpose is no longer there and my talent underutilized or wasted by just following the wishes of the new people. And there came a time when I had to decide whether should I stay or should I go. If I stay, I have to endure the toxic environment where I have to look over my shoulders all the time because everybody is suspecting everybody of bad things. It's the money that I earn, my salary of, is worth it when I don't use my talent and what we are supposed to do to help the people that is the industry, the workers of the country to be better so, so that they can perform better, they can compete with our neighbors. The workers can earn more because they are skilled. The country can progress. Do I want to be part of this? Just sitting there getting uh, my salary without doing much? The guilty feeling, you know? Or do I leave it all behind and start fresh, knowing well that the chances of getting a job is hard especially when you already reach a certain level and certain level of income. So in the end, I chose to leave. Much to the dislike of my family and also my colleagues saying that it's a dumb move, you know. Even if I were to get a new job, I will not get what I get currently. I told them I know. but. I want to leave anyway because of what I believe in. You know? So, while I was serving my notice, I met my soon-to-be employer who is now my current employer and I told him about it and he asked me to send in my application for their consideration. So, I did and again, I went through the process and finally, I got a job offer, yes. It may look less than what I used to get, but if you calculate more, it's actually about the same. And in fact, now three years, three years down the road, the road, I see that I'm actually doing better. I'm earning better, and I'm using my talent, my experience, and my knowledge to help the company. So actually, me giving up the comfort of the five figure, the perks, the traveling overseas and all these things and the social life where you meet industries, the government people and all works of life is worth it because I use my experience gained from there for a better purpose in the current position. Not to say that all the past was bad, it was good, I took the good and the apply it, the not so good environment I leave behind. So to wrap up, to me what is important 
are number one someone believing in us and willing to take uh, the gamble or risk it or to give us a chance and for me is to be given a chance to make to use my talents and what I know and my experience to make a difference in not only my life but also the life of the people I work with like in our company the community we uh, engage with uh, we work with through the NGO and part of the Rotary Club and also my own life personally and my family members so I'm happy that I took the courage to give up the comfort and go and face a journey in the uncertainty to have to be given a chance to start anew and actually come up stronger and better and of course most important to me as well is we must have a sense of purpose otherwise we do not know why we give up something and otherwise we do not know what we want to achieve and how to achieve them and what to give up in order to get there well uh, this is about it my sharing and i hope in a way i have inspired or at least give something to think about thank you and uh, until we meet again have a great day goodbye It's in my memory. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I remember she said, okay, just the movie, okay? Nothing else. I was thinking like, what do you mean nothing else? <laughs> this is my tea and I'm sipping it. Cheers, yeah. Mm. Let's spill the tea, yeah. <laughs>